What's up y'all, it's Spicy AF and we are definitely back. Spicy the topic, spicy the pandemic, topic. unless you're giving me credit. I don't know if y'all heard, but according to the New York Post, Kim now buys a home next to Kanye's home that he bought in her neighborhood. Before I continue, please like this video. It definitely helps me in the community. Please take a moment to subscribe and leave your comments and always let me know what you think. I don't care, y'all. Go ham in those comments. Engage, okay. do you? Yeah, okay. so I was shocked when I found out that Kim bought a home next to the home Kanye bought. Yes, she was willing to pay over $800,000 over the asking price that the previous owners had to get this house. Kanye, he was paying over $421,000. So both of them wanted this very badly. The thing I say that is unfortunate is New York Post and the media, they posted that perhaps Pete could come visit Kim. When they know this is not even what it's about, why are they assuming, why are they trying to drive the attention on Pete with this? This is all about the kids right here. Pete can easily come to the house that she has now. This was more about Kim trying to make it easier for Kanye to be around. This is Kim wanting Kanye around for their kids. This is Kim loving the bond, the connection, and the family she has. And you know what? It's good that she do because she knows how it feels not to have a father in her life presently. Father that missed her wedding, missed, you know, the birth of her kids, missed the opportunity to grandfather her kids. Y'all, she definitely missed that. So the fact that she's fighting for the connection with the family, Kanye and the kids, and her, that to me is, is awesome. Like I said, I know a lot of y'all don't agree because a lot of y'all don't like Kim. But Kim has some very virtuous qualities. I'm going to stick with that because I've been a fan of Kim way before Kanye and her got married. I see the good qualities in Kim. And I appreciate that. Not everything is bright. Not everything is perfect. But there are some goods. And I will definitely bring light to those things that she, she does good, you know. So, yeah, I was shocked to hear that she bought that house because I know I, I watched, I read uh, a few months after it came out Kanye purchased the house, after Trevor Noah dragged Kanye, after D.L. Hewley called him a stalker, Kanye did an interview with Hollywood Unlocked and said he knows how it feels. When he was young, his mom moved him to the coldest place in the United States, Chicago. And because his dad of his dad's career, he couldn't move. He knows how that feels, but the media is flipping it to be something wrong. Kanye has been consistent about what he wants, and that is he wants to protect his kids. He wants to be there for his kids. And Kim also has said Kanye is a good father and that she wants him to be there for the kids. Rather, she's the most perfect individual or not is not the question. They both agree that they want the best for their family. So what do y'all think? Let me know what you think in the comments below.